bags and stuff like that out of um, all of the plastic. Um, I did buy something and she's given it me in this really cool newspaper bag. So that handle there is made from the plastic and I went and watched them crocheting it and stuff like that. Um, so that was really interesting. I'll show you what I bought afterwards because I haven't got enough hands to do it right now. But yeah, it's really interesting. It's something like I've never seen that before. So that was really cool. Yeah, that is liqueur with snake in. I tried some of it in Vietnam and it just kind of tastes like any other kind of spirit. It doesn't have a particular flavour because it's got snake in, but you know, I don't know why it has snake in, but it seems to be a popular thing around here. So yeah, I've seen it in a lot of shops and stuff, um, but I definitely won't be taking any of that home because it looks disgusting and it doesn't taste amazing either. So from the plastic recycle place, I got this. It's just like a pen pot kind of thing. You could put anything you want in it, really. Um, it was only $2, and it's just made out of like black plastic bags. Um, yeah, I wanted to get something from there because I thought it was a really cool sort of concept, but I wanted a bag, to be honest, or something, but they were like $25, so yeah, it's just something a bit different. So I've come to the Apopo Visitor Centre, which is a museum that talks about how rats are being used to detect um, unexploded landmines and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it's like, I think $5 for me to get in, I'm gonna have a little tour. Um, so yeah, I've got some reading to do, and then um, I'm gonna have a tour for about 45 minutes, I think. I didn't know this was here, and it should be quite interesting, so I'm quite excited. In this area, we have one spot that have TNT that we high on the ground to test the rat. When Zari get that smell, they will be scratched to show you. Okay. This time, she will be got banana. So that was totally different to anything I have ever done before or expected to do in Cambodia. It's a really, really interesting museum. Um, it was just me that was on the tour. And um, yeah, it was really super interesting um, just to learn about how many unexploded landmines there are. Like I literally had no idea that there were so many in Cambodia. Um, and they use rats in lots of countries across the world to try and detect them. It was really interesting. The staff were really nice. And I just learned a lot and it was something I'd never heard of before and it's only cost five dollars which to be honest isn't so bad and I'm pretty sure it all goes to like the charity as well so that's really great I would recommend that if you're in Siem Reap it was like a bit of a ride out of the city centre like about three kilometres um, but make sure if you do get a tuk-tuk use the grab price get the grab app and use the grab price because it's cheaper he tried to charge me more and I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Um, so yeah, it should be like kind of one, just over $1.50 um, to get here. So yeah, don't pay any more than that because you don't need to. 
Um, so I'm just gonna walk back now. It's about a 50 minute walk, but you know, I keep spending so much money in this country and I need the exercise and probably some cool stuff to see on the way. So I'm gonna walk back and then I've gotta go to the post office to post some stuff home because I have bought too much stuff in Vietnam and now I can't carry it all around with me. So I am going to post some of it home. God knows how much that's gonna cost. Um, but yeah, I am going to go and do that. temperature is 45 like I've been feeling guilty because I've not walked anywhere near as much on this trip as I did on my um, Europe trip last summer because like in Europe I literally didn't get public transport like where I stayed in Rome it was like an hour and a bit walk to the Vatican and I just did it no questions asked and here I've kind of got cabs and stuff more I guess it's been cheaper just to jump in a taxi with like a dollar or something like it's not been as bad um, or maybe like hire a moped and stuff I mean I guess I wasn't doing that in Europe but yes I thought I'll walk like 50 minutes easy I'm dying honestly I'm dying I'm so sweaty but like I've not really thought about how hot it is and um, because I've been on the islands like I was kind of in a bikini all day or like in the water so I've not really been really hot for a while and now I'm absolutely boiling. I just looked, it says 34, feels like 44. So, yeah, I'm really, really hot and tired. Okay, here we go. Off to the post office to spend an obscene amount of money on postage. This place is really cute. There's a really nice chill out area and there's a roof terrace up there, but I haven't looked yet. But I'll do that afterwards. I just want to get this done so I can chill and sit in the aircon because I'm so hot. got that done. I went to the wrong, well I didn't go to the wrong post office because there's only one but the map said that there was some different one so I went there and it wasn't there and it was really heavy to carry and I'm dying now and it just cost me $70 but it's fine it's all good it'll get there in two to four weeks I could have got it there in four months for $10 less but I was like mm, for $10 more I'll have it like get home before I do kind of thing um, Anyway, now I need to work out where I am going because I don't want to go the wrong way again. I can't wait to lie in the aircon. So I just went and checked out the roof terrace. It's really cute up there. It's a bit wet though because it was just a storm, but it's calmed down a bit now. And now I'm gonna head out to the night market and meet my friend Katie, who I was with in Phnom Penh. And she's here in a hostel just down the road. So I'm gonna pop out for some food now because I'm so hungry. I'm nervous about the body. Yeah. yeah. I, I would be too. And what is it specifically? Oh, oh man. Oh, it's squishy. Oh. It's squishy. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes fine. It's just weird. The texture is good. Wow. So, I ate a tarantula. That was interesting. I managed to haggle it as well because they were trying to charge me $2. And then I ordered a pancake for one dollar and I was like if I have this can I have a spider for one dollar so two dollars all together and he was like yeah okay it didn't taste as bad as expected though the body was just a bit squidgy which was weird but yeah so 
It's not even late now, but I'm gonna probably head to bed because I'm really tired after the night bus yesterday. And I'm up at like four o'clock tomorrow to go to Angkor Wat for the sunrise tour, which is gonna be really good day. Going with a friend, so that's exciting. So yeah, early night for me in the aircon. And I hope I have a good sleep.